welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so sorry that it's been such a while since I've done my last video. With Christmas and after Christmas, it's been quite a busy time. I wasn't expecting it to be, but I'm definitely gonna make more of an effort to do some more videos for you. I did want to try my hand at vlogging as well, but I'm just working up to it. This is all very new to me, um, but, Hopefully, in the near future, I'll be able to bring you some vlogs and you'll be able to see how much of a geek I really am. Today, I'm gonna to show you what I got for Christmas. So I'm really excited to show you this stuff, even if it is a little bit late. As usual, I will link absolutely everything that I was bought or bought myself in the description below. So if you want to get any of this stuff, I've sorted it all out for you. Now, Ali and I went a little bit overboard this year. I think it was the excitement of us having our first home and we just sort of wanted to spoil each other a little bit more than usual. But we did it for each other, so regardless, we got some really, really nice gifts. I got lots of chocolates and lots of like teas and hot chocolate drinks. Um, I don't really need to sh show you those because we know about my obsession with hot drinks. So let's get down to the interesting stuff. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have an older brother, um, and he's quite special to me. And even though we used to beat the crap out of each other when we were younger, we have been there for each other so much over the past few years um, that I feel so fortunate to have him. So if he does ever get round to watching one of my videos, which if you've watched previous videos, you'll know it's not really his thing. I just want him to know how much I appreciate him. That aside, him and his wonderful wife, I still can't believe that they did this for me and Ali. It was amazing. Um, they got us two little baubles to go on our tree. We've now packed those away. And then we got a card. And when we opened the card, there was, I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold it back here. This. And they had got Ali and I some incredible tickets to go and see Ed Sheeran. I'm a big Sheerio, I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm pretty sure he's the only person on the face of the earth that I would probably fangirl over. So I'm super excited to go and see him again. Ali's never been to a concert, so I'm so excited to be able to take him with me. Um, and hopefully by then, I think it's in June, um, I will have overcome the the fear of vlogging and I may even be able to vlog the experience for you um, but let me ease into it first. Next up was my main present from Ali. For those of you who follow me on Instagram you might know that I have a bit of a thing for handbags. Um, Ali actually got me an amazing Alexander Wang handbag last Christmas. Um, it made me cry. I wasn't expecting it. I'd wanted that bag for so long. However, he bought me that bag brand new and I will only ever buy a bag brand new if it's in the sale, a really good deal. Other than that, I tend to buy them secondhand. I didn't grow up in an extremely wealthy environment. I'm sure when people look at my handbags, they might think that I did, but I didn't. I actually quite like the thrill of bargain hunting, especially on eBay. I think that, well, I have found personally some amazing deals on there. So I spend quite a lot of my time trawling for, for handbags and scoping them out on eBay. And I came across a bag. It was the perfect price, perfect condition, came with the receipt and I still got it authenticated, but it was, it was perfect. So I sent it to Ali and I said, I thought I would love this for Christmas and he got it for me. So I knew what I was getting. Um, so it was actually delivered into my hands and I may have taken it on a blogger trip that night without Ali knowing because I couldn't bear to part with it for the next two months because it arrived sort of the end of October. Anyway, he took it and packed it away and it wasn't mine until Christmas day. Now I had wanted a specific type of mulberry handbag for a while. I've always been a big fan of mulberry. The first designer handbag that I ever had was mulberry. Um, and although their prices for handbags on the grand scale of things isn't as bad as it could be, I just think that there are so many amazing handbags out there that could be rehomed <laughs> that I prefer to buy secondhand and get a better deal. So I had wanted something quite girly, but not putrid girly. Um, although I'm wearing pink right now, um, it's sort of a dusty pink and that's sort of along the lines that I wanted to go. Not over the top, um, subtle, but yeah, quite feminine. And I came across, I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> this, it's a Mulberry Alexa. Um, I think it's the medium size. Um, it's in Silky Snake with rose gold hardware and it's sort of a 
the colour doesn't look as nice as it does in person, especially not next to my pink, but it's sort of a powder beige colour. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's in perfect condition and the price was perfect. So that was waiting for me under the tree and I, I couldn't be more excited by it. Next up was my present from Ali's parents and another stocking filler. Uh, both came from the White Company. As you know, I'm obsessed. So it was inevitable that there was gonna be some under the tree. Ali's dad and stepmom got me the Blanc candle from the White Company. It smells so nice, it's so fresh. It sort of makes a change of, of all of the citrusy sweet smells that we had over Christmas. And this, I put this by my front door so when I walk in I get that waft of, of it's almost like fresh linen. That's the only way that I can sort of describe it. And then Ali put in my stocking a pair of socks. Um, these are the cashmere bed socks from the White Company. You're not supposed to wear these walking around. You're all supposed to wear them in bed. They feel so soft and especially in the winter, they keep my feet really, really nice and warm. So I have them folded by my bed at night. And if I ever get in and it's cold, um, I like to pop them on. So those are some bits from the White Company. Next up was actually a present that I kind of bought myself. My family tend to give me money and that sort of suits me well. I like to go and either put money towards things or just use it to save. This year I decided, being a bit of a tech geek, that I would treat myself to a smaller camera. Now Olympus had been collaborating with bloggers, honestly, from using it, all their reviews, if they're positive, they're telling the truth because it's such an amazing camera. It has a flip down screen like that. So if I do ever want to start vlogging, um, I can see myself. It takes the ultimate selfies and pretty much every single picture on my Instagram is now taken with this camera because it actually links directly to your phone by Wi-Fi. So you press a button on the back and then you connect it on your phone and um, you can just pick the pictures that you've taken off of the camera and they go straight onto your phone. So it's so convenient. I took this with me to Florence where I recently went with Tia Maria. Um, I took this down to a restaurant that I recently visited and I'll pop a link below to some images so you can see the quality because it's outstanding. It even gives you that blurry background um, that I like in my outfit pictures, um, but it's also just a lot more convenient to carry around. I use the Canon 5D uh, to take the majority of my blog content, I'm filming on it now, um, but it's very bulky and it's expensive and I don't particularly want to be lugging it around if I'm traveling um, or if I'm heading down to London and this is perfect. I, I can't rave about this camera enough. So I put my Christmas money towards it and it really has got the use out of it. I think you can get one with a thicker lens from Hurry's, which I'll put below. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that one because it does stick out so far. However, it is £100 less expensive. This is the pancake lens, and I got this from SRS Microsystems, which is actually in Watford. They are amazing in there, they're always so helpful. And when I left my charger in Florence, they got me a universal one, and now I've lost my lens cap. No doubt I'll be going there to pick up a lens cap too. Yeah, I can't rave about this camera enough. It is money well spent to have a runaround camera um, that you're not afraid to pop in your handbag. You know, it's a lot more durable. So that was my sort of Christmas present to myself, but also from my family too, which has really made my life running around a lot easier and I've also got so many of my friends to buy it too because they see how much I love it and then they go and buy it so I, again I've popped a link to this below if any of you guys are interested. Now for some more stocking fillers from Ali. I was given a tester of the Origins Checks and Balances, I can't say the word frothy, frothy face wash um, when I went and bought some stuff recently and I fell in love with it. I've usually used Hibby Scrub which my dermatologist recommended for me. But now I've changed over to this, I just love the way it feels and it lasts forever. You need the tiniest bit and it throths, I can't say it, um, it froths, froths up, froths up into a lather all over your face. Sometimes I might have to take off my eye makeup a little bit, but other than that, it's brilliant. And my face always feels so fresh afterwards. And this is featuring again, uh, purely because Ali used the last one, so he had to replace it. And uh, he pops that in my stocking as well. It's the Super Spot Remover. It's so good. I find if I ever get a, um, just a, you know, hormonal spot or something like that, this is fine for just getting rid of them. I obviously don't get that many spots because of going on Roactane, but this just tends to combat any that I do get. 
Another stocking filler from Ali was a new toothbrush. Um, he actually has this toothbrush and I was using just a normal manual toothbrush. He decided that I deserved one of these. I love it, it makes my teeth feel so clean. I'm actually quite anal about my teeth. I've had them whitened. Luckily I've never had braces, but I'd floss regularly and I'm a bit worried about losing my teeth and stuff like that. So yeah, I do take good care of my teeth, so it was nice to sort of take my brushing to the next level. Now the only problem is telling who's who's in the bathroom. And what is Christmas without a little bit of Chanel? My friend Carrie bought me the Lotus Rouge and Ali bought me Phoenix. Two reds, two completely different colours and both of them are absolutely gorgeous. I haven't actually worn them yet because I've got gels on at the moment, but you can never go wrong with red. And another stocking filler from Ali was a portable phone charger. I first came across these in Ibiza. Tamara from The Glam and Glitter had an actual purse that charged her phone. I was blown away. I couldn't believe I hadn't heard about them before, but Ali finally got me one because I'm always running around here and there. So this gives me an extra charge. I just charge it overnight and pop it in my handbag and then if I ever need it, it's there. It's really, really good and it's not too heavy and it's not too bulky. So I'm really impressed with that. And Thank you, Ali, for making my life so much easier. Ali's grandparents also got me a suitcase, sort of a, an overnight suitcase. I won't get it in the shop, but it's just a really, really lovely black suitcase, which was just so thoughtful of them. So that was a big thank you to them for that. And finally, my friend Vicky got me this coffee mug. This is so cute, it's so adorable. It says, happiness lies within on the front of it. And it's just a little bit of positivity every time I have my morning coffee. So thank you so much to, to Vicky for that. And that's it, that's what I got for Christmas. I'm sorry it's so late, but I really hope that you've enjoyed it or you've seen some, some good things because remember, Valentine's Day is not far away. So if you've been really good, you might be able to expect one of these for Valentine's Day instead. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out any of my other ones and if you do like them, give them a thumbs up and you can subscribe below. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, which I have also linked below. Thanks very much, bye!